Now look at this map on a Cartesian plane. It shows the places of interest in a few districts. The horizontal axis here is x-axis and the vertical axis here is y-axis. To write a coordinate, write the coordinate of x-axis followed by the y-axis. Now let's see how to write coordinates. The coordinates of Idaman Beach, which is at the origin, is written as 0, 0. Look at Sejinjang Waterfall. Okay, it lies on the x-axis. That means the coordinate of y is 0. Then, look at the x-axis. Sejinjang Waterfall is located at coordinate of 4. Write the coordinate of x, then y. So, the coordinate of Sejinjang Waterfall is 4, 0. Now look at Hillview Temple. Okay, write the coordinate of x, then coordinate of y. The coordinate of Hillview Temple is 3, 1. Now look at Timun Lake. Timun Lake is 4 units to the east and 5 units to the north of the origin. So the coordinates of Timun Lake is written as 4, 5. Now, look at this example. The picture shows the position of five ferries at a harbour. Which ferry is at the coordinate of 2, 6? Now, the coordinate given is 2, 6. That means x is 2 and y is 6. Look at x axis. Look for 2. From 2, move up until y is 6. So, ferry P is at 2, 6. Now, what ferry is at 4, 0? Look at x axis and look for 4. y is equal to 0, that means the ferry lies on the x axis. Ferry T is at 4, 0. Now, what ferry is at 5, 4? X axis is equal to 5 and Y axis equals to 4. Okay, from the X axis 5, move up until Y is 4. So, ferry Q is at 5, 4. Examples. The first one, how to find the coordinates of uh, the elephant. Okay, first of all, what you all must do, you must see at the x axis first okay so when you see at the x axis one two three so the elephant is at the third of the x axis and then we take a look at the y axis one so the answer is three one okay three one so always remember if you want to uh, write the coordinates of something we must first write the horizontal axis that is the x axis first and then we write the y axis okay like example the answer is 3 1 so we must write the 3 first the x axis first and then followed by the y axis that is 1 so we cannot write 1 3 that is wrong so this is the correct answer so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the next example how to find the coordinates of the bird so first we take a look at the x axis one two three four okay correct and then we look at the y axis one two so the answer is equal four two okay always remember to write the x axis first followed by the y axis okay the next example so we take a look at the x axis one okay 
and then the y exists one two three four so the answer is one okay the x exists first four so this one is the answer thank you assalamualaikum and a very good morning today we are going to learn solve the problems topic on coordinates textbook page 103 until page 105 okay solve the problems number one the pictures shows the locations of a flower garden petro science museum bird park and theme park Encik Karim took his family to A3 okay A stands for column 3 stands for row so A3 A is for horizontal axis 1 2 3 4 is for vertical axis horizontal and vertical axis Encik Karim took his family to A3 during the school holidays. Where did they go? So, given the picture of the place of A3. Okay, this is A3. Okay, this is the picture of A3. Find, name the place. Method, look at the column A, row number 3. And the place is Petro Science. Okay, Petro Science. So you can use other coordinates to state the number of places. Okay, for C1 is for the location of theme park. D3 is the location of a museum. A4 is for flower garden. And B2 is for bird park. Okay, you can name other places using the coordinates. Okay, next page. Number 2. A picture of the location of four types of clothing. Okay, this is the picture of four types of clothing. Dress, pajamas, sport attire sportswear and school uniform so Rekha is taking part in a tally match okay underline the word tally match what type of clothing is suitable state the location so given the keyword is taking part in a tally match find most suitable type of clothing and their location Method make a table. Okay, this is how you are going to answer. You are going to make the table. This one is clothing, dress, pajamas, sportswear, and school uniform. Suitable and location. Okay, which one is suitable for tally match? Dress is cross. Dress is A2. Pajamas B4. Sportswear location at C3. This is sportswear and school uniform at D2. So the answer is the most suitable type of clothing is sportswear. Their location at C3. Okay, the location at C3, the most suitable is sportswear. Okay, next we are going to let's try question. Solve the problem below. Okay, this is the picture. Bus route from Johor to Penang. Okay, this is Johor Bahru to Penang. Swilin and her mother are taking a bus from Johor Bahru. Okay, this is Johor Bahru to Penang. This is Penang. The bus stops for a break at C2. Okay, this is C2. After 3 hours, the bus stops at Taiping. Okay, this is the location of Taiping. So, state A, the location of the bus terminal in Johor Bahru. Okay, this is Johor Bahru. So, the location at B1. 
D is horizontal, one is for row. D is okay, D one. So the answer is D one. Okay, next B. The location of the bus terminal in Penang. Okay, where is Penang? So this is Penang. So the location is A four. A four column A four for row. So A four. The answer is A four. The rest area at C two. So C for column C. 2 is Kuala Lumpur. So, the answer is Kuala Lumpur. Okay. The location of the rest area in piping. Okay, this is the Taiping. This is the location of the bus area in Taiping. B, 4. B for column, 4 is for row. So, the answer is B, 4. Okay, our next activity is the homework. Solve the problems. Activity book page 103 until page 146. So, we are going to do together. Okay, first 143. Solve the problems. Activity 1. The picture shows the location of places in a school compound. Okay, this is a location of places, example, library, preschool class, canteen, computer lab, field, playground, badminton court, reading hut, and fish pond. So, complete this. Okay, you are going to fill in the blank. Okay, this is school building. So, question A. At 8 o'clock in the morning, the preschool pupils go to C2. So, underline C2. This is C for column, 2 is for row. So, C2. What is the place? Okay, C2 is the location of a Playground. So you write down answer. Playground. Okay. Next B. The year three pupils are surfing the internet. Okay. Underline the word internet. State their location. So you write down. Okay. The pupils. Are surfing the internet state the location so what is the answer you write down the answer here the location okay see every afternoon Encik Jamil plays badminton so the keyword here is badminton so underline badminton where does he go state the location of the place so badminton you should go to the badminton so you write down the location D4. Okay, write down answer here. Okay, page 144, activity 2. 
Location of places of interest in Pahang is shown in the picture. Okay, this is the location of interest in Pahang, Cameron, Hi Cameron Highlands, National Park, Kenang Forest Park, Fraser Hills, Kunting Highlands, okay, Tasik Chini, Cherating. Okay, that's a lot of places here. So the answer, so the question, Fata is on holiday with his family. The table shows the places that they visit. Complete this. So day Monday, Genting Highlands. So where is Genting Highland? Okay, this is Genting Highland. So the location at B two. So write down the location at B two. Okay, the other you fill in the blank. C two. C two is what? Okay, what is the places of interest in C two? So you write down Kuala Ganda. Okay, write the answer here. And then Wednesday is Cherating. So where is Cherating? This is Cherating. Write down the location D4. Okay, put in the blanks. Okay, next is self-assessment. Below is a picture of 25 cupcakes in a box. Okay, this is 25 cupcakes. Answer the riddle. Fill in the boxes with the letters according to the location given. Okay, here you need to fill in the letters. Okay, this is the letters. I keep important notes that you write on me. What am I? So the location at E1. E is for column, 1 is for row. So E1 is N. So you write down here N. The letter is N. A4. A for column, 4 is for row. A4 is O. So you write down the letter O. Okay, then you continue write down the letters. Okay. Okay, last page is mind teaser, page 146. The picture shows the location of balloons and point in an archery. Okay. This is the point. Answer the question. Jasmine shoots at A2. A2. Okay, A2 is 1. C3. C3 is 5. So, you write down the number is 5. And then D4. D4 is 3. So, write down 3. And then what is just win total point? Okay, when you say total, you need to add all the numbers. So you add all, so you will get what answer. Okay, B. Razib shoots three balloons. His total point is ten. Okay, remember total point must be ten. State the locations of the balloons that Razib may have shot. So which one? Okay. You must write down three location and the total point is 10. Okay, write down your answer here.